Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Jazz Hands. I'm currently working my way through 1959 fashions and maybe a bit of a jump forward in a preview that you can't see over here. But uh, today's episode, we're focusing on Sweater Girl, which is number 976. This is uh, a, this outfit is one that came out several times in different colors. I'm going to show two of them here today. The first will be the original one from 1959 that ran for several years, I think till 1961 or 62, and then another version that popped up later. Although there were three overall colors that you could eventually get this particular outfit in. So we'll start by reading the actual uh, what came with the set. Sweater Girl without doll number 976, sleeveless turtleneck sweater with matching cardigan, tailored wraparound flannel skirt. Knitting needles, yarns, scissors, and a bowl, and Barbie's own knitting book. Open toe pumps. The set, $3. It shows red on here for the shoes, but it came with black shoes. And I really like the accessories in this particular set. Um, they're really cute. I love. I especially love the scissors. They actually, like if we look at them right here, they're like a little tiny pair of scissors. If I can get my gloves out of the way. And they actually... <laughs> I mean, they actually cut. Uh, I have. I, I really like the original Barbie uh, accessories just because they're really cute, but they were almost functional, like the knife from Barbecue. I think if you sharpen that thing, it could be a real knife. Uh, this uh, this is a little damaged. The version I have, whoops, small and goes everywhere. Here comes my cat. Heard me talking. But th these are actually little yarn balls that they glued in place, and then it got a little damaged. But that's all right. Hey, sweetheart. So the uh, actual fabric in here is kind of cool. And then she had a little book called How to Knit, which you know, was great. And it was, yeah, I'm not focusing at all today. And it was written by Barbie. Hello. I got, a, I got a table next to this so the cat can watch me make the video without hopefully jumping in place. So anyway, let's go ahead and put it on her. We have to take her off her stand and get started here. We already got her black shoes on, and we're taking, we're starting by taking off her outfit as we always do. I'm gonna put on the flannel pencil skirt first. And I believe uh, this set is a 1959 set, just because the shoes that I have, and I'm just using the reproduction shoes that come on the doll, because again, reproduction shoes don't always work on original dolls or reproduction dolls even. In this instance, it probably would have been fine just because uh, the doll's a reproduction as well. So there she is in her skirt, which has some damage. Somebody's repaired it, it looks like, a couple times, but it's all right. I don't mind. I mean, if I can get a mint item, that's great, but, you know, that's expensive. And, now we're, and these <coughs> excuse me, these items are old, so uh, you got to kind of be understanding and forgiving regarding them and just be grateful that you have the treasures that you have. We're going to set you down while I try to open this up. Looks like it's also got some minor repairs on the sweater itself that somebody made at some point, which is fine again. My gloves are not helping remove it. There we go. There's the first part. We'll slide this on her very carefully. I love the orange color, like coral and orange and... They're not really pink, but they are bright and colorful outfits. That's uh, this kind of makes me happy to see Barbie wear them. If you've seen my other videos, you know that pink isn't necessarily my favorite color, especially hot '80s pink. You want you want a Barbie? Well, good news, we put everything in pink for her, just for you. Oh, goody! Thank you so much, Mattel. Now, these original outfits, they they could be real clothes, minus little snaps. That's uh. Our little fiddly. I think I need to get like a smaller set of uh, white gloves. These are like all gloves that are allowed to be for everyone, apparently. Come on, come on. There we go. So there's the first sweater, which doesn't have any holes. That's the hardest thing about these particular sweaters is uh, they have a lot of holes in them because over time they just don't hold up very well. There we are, and then we'll do the other outer sweater. And she'll be pretty much ready to go. Well, the sweater itself is not a first edition. It has an R on it, which means that it was a later edition sweater. So this was an outfit that was cobbled together by a collector later on. 
The shoes that came with it, though, have the holes in it, which means that they're first edition vintage shoes, which is kind of impressive. Now, don't want Barbie to snag her little hands inside the sweater and create any runs. So you gotta be extra careful putting on these vintage sweaters. See, she's just snagging like crazy at the end of this one. Come on. And yeah, well, it's on, that's what matters. And then same thing on the side. Careful, careful. There we go. All right. Definitely a, <laughs> a vintage outfit. It's not perfect, as you'll see in a minute when I with my reproduction that I also have. But it still does look very nice, even with the little runs and stuff and it repairs. There we go. Hey there, girl. You did yourself a sweater, I see. Here we can even put the little pair of scissors in her hand, which is hilarious. And maybe the other way. I just love that they move. That's that's crazy. Like such a tiny item, and they went to all that detail. There we go. And there she is. There she's a sweater girl. Got her scissors and her book, which how to knit, and she wrote the book according to the packaging. Give her a little spin around. Yeah, this particular outfit is not in mint condition by any means. It's in gently played with and even gently repaired condition, which, again, it's an older outfit. What do you expect? Can't pull the yarn out of the bowl, though. You'll ruin it. But there's the yarn. We can't make it look exactly like the picture. So, from 1959 to 1961, 1962, 1963, uh, Mattel had the same patterns. And, you know, you kind of run into an issue with, okay, we've got this uh, really popular item. How do we keep selling it? And it's a good question. How do you, how do you keep selling a popular item and trying to make more money out of it if you don't refresh it or update it or make it newer for things. Barbie, when she came out, was a blockbuster success. Nobody really had a fashion teenage doll at the time, so she was doing gangbuster sales. But if you own all the fashions, which were expensive, admittedly, but high quality, then how do you do it? So they would do updates. In 1963, they updated this exact same outfit in a royal blue color. Came with the same amount of accessories. All of these were blue. And then in 1964, they came out with this one. And because uh, I think that the brunette looks good with the pink, I put it the brunette bubble cut that I love in it. Here, let's get this out of the way. Bring up the chair since I don't use the actual <laughs> furniture very often. But yeah, so we've got the brunette bubble cut in the exact same outfit. This outfit came out in 1964. In 64, it was called Knitting Pretty. Came with the exact same accessories again, red book, scissors with uh, the little bowl of yarn. But the, the outfit itself was pink, flannel, pink skirt, pink sweater, pink shoes, and this is a reproduction outfit. The outfit came out again in 2007 in a Knitting Pretty set with Skipper that you could get as a reproduction. I had the set. Dolls were taking up too much space. Sold the dolls, kept the outfits. I would show Skipper in her matching School Days outfit, which may have come out in 64 also with Skipper as a junior outfit. But uh, we've already got two dolls in this video. <laughs> and uh, I again, I have something special planned for Skipper. I've uh, got a big, big, big thing for her to come up. So yeah, two outfits, exact same setup. Uh, you've got one. Um, this is what this outfit would have looked like if it was brand new and didn't have a bunch of repairs on it. Over time though, you know, moth holes, uh, it gets repaired over time. It's they just don't last that long, and it's understandable. They're toys. They were meant for children to have fun with. There you go. Relax, doll. Time to knit. <laughs> 
Anyway, this is Jazz Hands. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back for the next one. Until the next video, have a good day.